everyone, I'm Marcy Besker. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and welcome. It is Saturday, not my normal time, but it is noon. And we are going to be working on um, a really fun project. It's going to be new from the catalog. Um, you're going to notice a few things going on here, which one, I have no cabinets in the back with my stamp sets. Um, we are starting to paint some items. Um, yesterday was a crazy day um, and I'll tell you about that in a minute but um, so my husband's got these down you might hear a sander a little bit in the background um, he is sanding them down again and uh, getting ready to paint them the issue is, is it's a little bit breezy today so I'm kind of concerned about that but it is what it is right so welcome um, so crazy story from yesterday is remember my last video when I had this power surge weird thing happen to my computer came right back on um, and I had to sign back on and all that good stuff. Well, it ends up I had a corrupt Windows file. So I had to call the company of my brand new laptop. And um, so they told me what to do. So I'm hoping it fixed everything. I tried to test it a little bit last night and it seemed to work. So let's hope for the good that the Windows it did do weird, different things this time when I signed on, so hopefully it's all good. Hello, welcome Denise. Hi Deborah. how are you? Um, so, I am excited about getting my cabinets painted. I'm excited about working with some new items. Um, we are on today, Saturday, because tomorrow I'm going to go um, up north to our families and we're having a, um, a, uh, an Easter there. And so today I'm making Easter rice crispy treats that's one of the snacks i'm going to take for the kids i'm supposed to do appetizers or whatever i want and so i'm going to make some easter rice crispy treats i'm going to put mini pastel marsh um m ms in there and then i'm going to put some little mini marshmallows and then i bought some little um, easter confetti sprinkles so i'm going to add all that in there so i'll take a picture and we'll see how that turns out so, hi, Steph. Hi, Terry. Hi, Mary Ellen and Barbara. Welcome, Susan. Welcome. Okay, so um, I'm excited to get ready, but let me just tell you a few things really quick before my computer um, may do weird stuff. Um, so, I did pre do a bit of stuff for you, but we're going to uh, work along with it and uh, do exactly what I would do, and then, and then um, I have some pre cut stuff. So bingo is on the 19th and I wanted to share with you how to sign up. And then I also have a paper share and the paper share is going to be all the new DSP with the specialty paper. So I want to show you here exactly how you would go about doing this. You're going to go to my blog. You're going to go to shop. Of course, it's going to bounce on me. You're going to go to um, bingo paper shares, classes, and PDFs. And now when you're at this point, the blog automatically has these add to carts. That's more for the items that are um, stamp sets, the retired items. So when you get to the drop down menu up here and it says retired stamp sets, you can just add them to cart. You already know what they are. But here you need to click on the item. So here's the bingo here. Uh, March is still here because I still have some kits. Um, if you wanted to take this class, here's the paper share. So just click on the item and then that's going to bring you to more details. It's going to bring you, you're going to scroll down and you're going to have your form to fill out here. You must fill out the form. See right here? Fill out the form here. I used to have it in a different location, but I tried to put everything in one spot. So fill that out and then here's the supplies we'll be using if you want to look at them and then you can pay down here. Okay, so it's all in one spot. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Um, again, same with bingo, anything. You just go to your bingo paper share type thing. Go to bingo, click on it. Everything is here. This is kind of what it is. It's all the all the new end papers, the DSP, you get your specialty papers. It tells you everything. You're gonna get 169 sheets. Oops, right up here. Everything will be cut down six by six. You'll get a quarter of the package. So if it's 
12 by 12, you're going to get uh, a six by six. Everything will be cut down. Okay, so, um, and then again, your form here <clears throat> and you pay down there. And the reason that it's like that is because I, I, I like to have a registration form just so I have everybody lined up on who messaged me and, and you know who paid and, and I, it ex exports to Excel for me. And then it also helps me with my shipping labels and all that good stuff. So um, by filling out your registration form, that's super, super helpful to me. So if you have not and you've already paid, you can go back and do the registration and then just submit and, and skip the pay part. A lot of you have already paid, but haven't done that yet. And you'll be getting an email from me asking you to do that um, and sending you uh, a link to it. But that's how you would do it. All right. Hello, everybody. Just making sure there's no questions. Okay, so um, here was my test picture. That was my test picture on my video last night. So um, it was it was doing weird stuff. So I thought, you know, I better throw a picture up there. <laughs> it was private uh, when I was testing it, but it was weird. All right, so let's just get started. Um, oh, I, I do have two cards I want to share that I received first before I forget. So I have... This one is from Marsha. Thank you so much. I just love this set. And I believe this one's retiring. It is so, so pretty. And I love that embossing folder. And I love how you did uh, the little bit of a different cut there and you added a stamp on the end. Really, really cute. And of course, I love the colors. And then I got a beautiful card from my upline. And this is what she sent. And it has an envelope. Oops. And um, she decorated the side down on the inside. It's really pretty. Really pretty. And then she sent me some beautiful tabs for my catalog. So, whoo Did those last night while I was redoing my computer last night. So, at least that was fun. All right. So, let's see. Let's get started. We have a lot to do, so here we go. So we're gonna work on this card. I wanted to create something with all, um, I feel like, okay, now that I've redone my computer, it just seems like it's not very bright. So I'm gonna brighten it a tad. Um, okay, so it is, uh, I wanted to do a card with all in colors. So I decided to um, try to do this and um, come up with something. So this is what I came up with. I didn't necessarily have to use all the papers or all the inks, but I definitely wanted to use all the colors. So I'm using the Sending Smiles, which I really like because everything is separate. They separated out the centers of the flowers, the top of the flower, and the leaves. So what's really nice about that is you could just stamp green, stamp red, you know, whatever colors you want, and then you can add your centers but even this right here is separate, which I really like. Um, a lot of times they're together, so you have to use your markers or your stamp radis, and this is really nice. The other thing we're gonna use is our Fern 3D folder, which is what you're gonna see back here. And I, I decided, you know what, I'll make it green because green is leaves. And I'm kind of thinking we may um, do, and you know what, I think I used white paper actually, yeah. I used white paper and added green. So I think we're gonna do a little lighter and maybe just try to get the ferns, although they are fern, there are ferns all the way in the background. So we'll, we'll play with that a little bit. We're gonna use the sending uh, dies, which is from the set. And look at you have two labels. We'll be using that and we'll be using uh, a couple different things. You could layer these up. So you have these two dies here. And so you could layer that up and do that a darker color, this a lighter, lighter color, whatever you want. Or you can stamp it and then just use the background. And I kind of wanted to do that because I wanted it on white so that the text would pop up and just kind of pop because it was, um, I could have done this in white and this in the dark in the background. And so maybe we'll do both and then I'll show you the difference. So let's let's do that. That'll be fun. 
All right, so I'm gonna set the dies apart. Now I also use the fabulous frames. So if you look at this here on this frame, I used this larger one here and we're gonna cut out the outside. So I did that ahead of time already because um, I'm trying to save a little bit of time and I need to go help my husband paint my cabinets. I wanna supervise and make sure you know how it is. You don't want them to be like, oh yeah, it looks pretty good. Well, pretty good, you know, I want it to look nice. <laughs> so that's my plan. All right, so let's bring this in. Let's get a little bit of stamping done. We're gonna use all of the end colors. Look how pretty these are. Oh, Deb, that's great. Oh, you know what? Creative mistakes is okay because sometimes that's how you come up with some great ideas. So um, I am okay with that. Okay, so what I did is I'm going to, let's start with our green parakeet party and let's do our leaves. Trust me. Did you see the last video? I left the adhesive stuff on it. No, Carol, I won't be on tomorrow because I'm going to be out of town. We're doing an early um, Easter out of town tomorrow. So we're going to go to some relatives about an um, hour and a half away. And so we're going to be there. Okay, so let's do, we're going to do one large leaf for, and that's going to be for our flowers. So I'll show you here. So the large leaf here, I'm going to do for our two flowers. So for this one and this one here. All right, so we'll do that. And then we're gonna bring in the small one. And what I did here is I did three of these, which I'm guessing, uh, are those lilac? That's what I'm gonna say. Um, so three of those, and we're not gonna use all three, but, but you do need three stems. So let's just stamp three. So here's one, two, and I'm going to turn this around. You want to make sure you have enough room for your dies. I've already pre-cut these, but I'm just going to show you how I did this. All right, so there is that. And now let's do our sentiment. So first let's do the stamping part of it. So what I did is I wanted to show you, and I know you guys probably know this because it's a super helpful tip though. So I'm going to lay my stamp, especially when they're long like this. You want to lay them down, get your block, and hopefully my head's not in the way. Hopefully I adjusted my camera okay. And it's okay if it's, um, I don't like this off right here, so I'm going to fix that. But it's okay if it fits pretty snugly and it's that it's not straight because um, we're going to be die cutting this out anyway. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do the flowers in the lighter color. So I'm going to take the darker color. Hi, Linda. Hi, Dar. Oh, Deborah, soon as you can. I, I want you to see them and know what you want. I took a poll and asked people, do they want me to do new stuff or, or um, the mini catalog or whatever? And everybody said new. So um, that's why I'm doing new. Oh, good, Carol, me too. All right, so there we go. Look how pretty that is. So that came out perfect. All right, so we'll set those aside. We're gonna bring in this one. And that's all I needed for the dark. Let's do our orchid. Oh, the party. Uh, orchid Oasis. Where is it? Okay, so you'll notice what I did here is I did two of the darker and a lighter one, just so it kind of just adds a little bit of um, interest to it. That So just stamp again. And then stamp a third one. There you go. There are those. Now what do we need? We need our flowers, so we need our red. We didn't use our blue our, uh, to he shin tied just because the frame is um, already blue and I thought that was quite a bit of blue and I just decided to not use that. So we don't need that one. Let's get our sweet sorbet. 
And we're going to do our two flowers. So we'll do one right there. Thank you for the person that just signed up for Bingo and another that subscribed. I happen to have my phone here popping up now so I can see that and my laptop is now my messages so that's good my comments I can see okay so now I'm going to leave the bottom of this blank and you'll see why in a minute but let's get back to our green because I wanted to keep everything in the end colors I chose not to do the inside of the flowers like a yellow or something different look at your little your little piece you have one side that has a little more jags at the top. It's really, really hard to see. But at the top of this, it has a little bit of a more texture at the top. So I chose that to go up. Well, here, let me show you. Well, I don't even know if you can see that. You can barely tell, but that's the part I decided that part should go up and it probably doesn't matter to be honest. And then this one, there's, a little like a little curve that goes in barely so I'm gonna make that be up because the bottom part looks a little more round again I really don't think it matters all right so there we have that and what I leave um, normally I leave the bottom for is the sentiment to line it up but we are going to take this die here and die cut it out because we're using a longer sentiment, which is, it's gonna say, sending sunshine to brighten your day. So we need our memento. All right, let's get our sentiment all nice and inky. I like to go over it a couple times. You know, normally we go right down the middle, so I like to just go over it a few times just to make sure I pick up, you know, a little bit of an inkier spot because it, if you go in the same spot all the time, it's going to be a drier uh, image, right? All right. Oh, I'm like, where did my lid go? Okay, so through magic of TV, I have all of my pieces here. So we'll lay those up there. What I do want to do really quickly is um, do our sentiment. Um, if we were going to be using these same colors, so I have the colors here. I did cut out some, a couple sheets that I had just right here handy, just so we can kind of decide what we would do. The green is in the background, so that's the hard part. I'm gonna, I, I did try this and this already, it was way too dark. But I think if we put the green on top of the dark, because I still want to pull in the dark. So let's try this really quick just to see what it looks like. And then you guys can decide which you want. So let me move this. I'll just bring the dye machine right here. All right, so we're gonna go with the dark and the light. The dark we'll put up here and we're gonna do that in the background because we're already gonna have the green as a background. So what I do is I put, put it all the way up. Uh oh, my kitty's outside the door. She's probably wondering why, where is everybody at? All right, we'll put that one there. And let's just line them up. I also spent yesterday going through my stamp sets. I have a bunch I'm gonna get ready to, to add on my page for sale. Okay, so don't forget your little, your little circle here. So let me find my tool. And I want to make sure I have that little circle. Uh-oh, where did it go? Here we go. We're gonna glue that on there. All right, 
And so now we have this. And you want to be careful because you don't want to stretch it out. You want it to try to keep it as true form as you can so that it's just going to align nicely when you put it on your project, on your other background. So let's just see what this looks like. And then we can kind of decide which one we want. So I will save these especially right now when I don't have so much of this color paper. All right, we don't need that. Or this, or this, or this. All right. There we go. Oops, sorry, E still there. All right, there we go. And there's our eye. So now what I would do, and of course it would be really smart to take this and do it on your adhesive sheets, but I didn't do that because we're just thinking at the last second how to do this. So I'm just gonna put a little tiny dot right there. I'm gonna bring in my little tool. I'm gonna put that on. All right, there's that. I'm going to lay this down and do it just so I can get it. And I'm just going to do, you see that? It just pooped out right there. I'm going to do little dots. So just go along and just do little tiny dots. As soon as you get it going, there we go. You guys see, yeah. And it would have been a smart, okay, my dots are not coming out. I have to squeeze a little bit. I think it's dried a little on the tip. There we go. And then just, you don't need that much. You guys know how much this glue sticks really well. We'll just put it now because this is so fine and thin I would definitely do adhesive uh, but because we're just giving it a whirl see what it looks like all right now I would start over here with the S and lay lightly very lightly and then, because you're going to have to squeeze it a little right here where that N is. And then lay that down. Okay, so now you can kind of press it into place. Adjust as you go what you need. Now you can see I got a little glue right here. Of course, I'm going to take my pokey tool and get that extra glue up. Just to notice. Now that's pretty. Let's see what it looks like. Now, I think it would be fine if it wasn't for this dark background, but I think this would be really pretty on a different on a different card. So I'm gonna save that. We're gonna stick with the white, I think, because I like the way it looks better. I think the green's too dark, but that's how simple it is. This one is just simple because you take the larger die in the background and you just die cut it out. So this is a good reason why you're gonna, you want to put your stamp on there correctly when you put it on. The other thing you could do is if you're gonna be putting it on your block, so let me wipe this off. You could take your die and put it on there like that just to make sure that it's in the right position. So you could also take your stamp and Put it on, you know, make sure your, your die. So if your S is up, if you can see like that, obviously it's not gonna cut right. So just kind of form it into your die. And you can start it on your block. So you're like, okay, that looks good. And so now you're trying to get it on there. 
you can kind of adjust it a little bit and just make sure that it's going to align up just how you want it. Okay, so I would prefer doing it this way. So you can make sure everything aligns, get it in your die. And it doesn't have to be exactly, but you kind of want to make sure it's straight, right? Okay, and now I think that's good. And now you can lay it down and just kind of adjust from there. And now you know that you're gonna put that through. Now you can take this off and stamp it and know that it's gonna die cut just fine. I hope that makes sense. So anyway, just a helpful tip on your die cutting. All right, so then what I did is I have my frame and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your frame is what size it is. So there's our frame. And so what you're gonna do is measure your frame and it is three and three quarters. So when you bring in a piece of paper, you wanna make sure that it's going to be smaller. And you, I would do it before you do your embossing. So if this is three and three quarters by five, then you're gonna bring in your trimmer and you want it under three and three quarters. So, so you're going to go to three and three quarters and I just go to the next line. You don't need that much of a difference. Okay. And then by five, you're going to go by five and just go down a line. You just need it to be under that frame. So whatever you're comfortable with. Now, if you cut it prior, one line's perfect because once you put it in here, Okay, it's fine. But now you have yourself a little bit of wiggle room because once you emboss this, it is going to come a little smaller. So this one I might have cut down just a little bit more, but it still fits. So just as long as you start out smaller than your frame, just a little bit, it's still going to give you plenty of space to be able to adhere it to the back of your frame. All right, so think about that when you're doing it. I like to cut first because sometimes you know what happens if you're using your your trimmer, you're gonna catch a design and it's gonna just you know tear up your paper right there. I'm gonna put this in here because it seems like everything's super white and it's gonna my camera might get kind of weird. Okay, so now um, we're gonna take this and I'm gonna bring this in with our parakeet party and my green blending tool and I'm just going to lightly I'm going to do it a little lighter this time I'm going to do it a little lighter I really want to get on the leaves and I'm not going to be as concerned about the back leaves because um I want a little more of a pop of a lighter color, so I want the white to kind of show through this time. I think I went a little heavy handed. I wanted all the leaves to show, and then I realized that I kind of think I would have liked a little more white. And now let's look what, see what that other sentiment looks like too. That might make a big difference. So now you can see that it's got, and it looks kind of yellow on the but it's definitely the green. All right, so let's do a little darker. I want all the branches to have a little bit of green, but these ones that are kind of in the forefront a little darker. And you gotta kind of go in circular motion so that you can get all the grooves to get your color to show through. That's good. I think I'm going to go with that. Okay, so now we're going to take our frame. Okay, and we're going to adhere that. So I'm just going to do some liquid glue. I like to do it around the frame because um, you know that way it's not going to show through. And you just go close to the middle.
I sent my granddaughter an Easter basket. She got it the other day. And she said, but the chocolate melted. And I was hoping that wouldn't happen. But she goes, but I put it in the freezer and I already ate some. <laughs> so didn't seem to phase her. All right. So we're going to put this. Make sure you have it. All your corners down, see that one? And even if it's, it doesn't matter if it's a little crooked as long as it's under your frame. So we'll put that down and I'm gonna set this aside. Let's do the inside of our card while we're here. So I did the four by five and a quarter in the uh, Tahitian, um, I'm gonna learn I'm tied. Yeah, tied. Oh no, Barbara, I hope you find your kitty. Since you've had your new car. Oh, Carol, thank you. Oh, I hate, you know, I had a kitty that I got, that got lost once and um, she was gone for like a week. And um, what I did is I opened my window. Okay, so this is how I did the inside. Um, I opened my window and I, so that she could smell our scent because she was an indoor cat only. And so I was like, oh no, and I finally decided to do it. It was winter though. And I was like, I'm just going to do it because I need my kitty back home. And sure enough, here she came at the window. Meow, meow. She was filthy. I don't know where she'd been, but, um, so think about about that so maybe so in case she's if she's only indoors she can kind of figure out where she's going okay so you're going to see right here i did another little branch right here because i wanted to add multiple on this but i didn't want this other um you know like this stamp because it was so big and i could have but i i, I kind of wanted to try this take your stamp and just get your your stem right there and it doesn't have to be very big I'm kind of turning this a little bit. Just make sure that you don't have any of your leaves right here. Okay, you just want that little tiny branch. And it doesn't matter how big it is. And I'm just going to go right along down here and stamp that branch. Okay, it did not go all the way. And my other one didn't last time either. This is when you're going to bring in your blending pen. Uh, blender pen and just pick up a tiny bit of the color just a tiny bit and go like that okay see and now it's together and you would not have even known the difference now what I do want to show you though is let's just say for example on this one uh, well I'm not going to do that because I'll cut those out let's just say for example grab a paper here that we did the same thing here, all right? And you could just draw it in, okay? So you could take your, your marker and you could just draw it. And then just, I just do little strokes, make them a little bit longer until you get there. And if the thickness isn't right or whatever, but that's why the blender pens are so nice. And then I just, I just wipe it off and see how it's clear now and I can use whatever color I want. The thing you don't want to do is pull in this marker for this type of technique because look how dark you can tell it's a lot darker. Okay. See how much darker it looks. It looks thinner. It just doesn't look like it goes nicely like the other one. Oh, the cat litter, that's a good idea, Linda. That's a really good idea. I even took, um, we took our dog out for a walk in the neighborhood, hoping that she would scent, you know, smell him or that um, he would smell her or whatever. Um, okay, so now we're gonna take our, this is our Orchid Oasis. And I did three, I did one dark. Okay, try not to get my head in the thing too much. 
and then I did one light and then I immediately did another one just kind of it looks like it's behind so it's hard to see but just so it looks like it's behind right there and you could do that here too if you wanted you could do whatever you want but um, um so that's kind of what I chose to do for the inside so let's put our panels together here all right yeah so there's a lot of different reasons to use you know your markers versus your blending pens um, markers can come in handy when you're outlining something uh, when you do need to uh, do a little line that's within a stamped image then a marker is usually not a bad idea especially the black I use the black one a lot um, but the blender pens are also a really, really good way to, to use them for all kinds of things. All right, let's get this on. Surprised I didn't do this at the beginning, so I, but I put it in my card so I wouldn't stamp on it or use it. All right, so there's our inside. And now for our outside, because um, we're not going to be doing any layering or ribbon or anything like that that we need to not adhere this. Let's go ahead and adhere it. And I do use quite a bit of um, dimensionals because of the panel on the inside. I just don't want it to, to go down. So I'd like to put two just kind of right there. And then we'll put some around the outside. I'm going to put some because it is a big image. Oops, I can tell that. I got this right here, pulled off a little piece of paper. There we go. All right, there we go. And we'll go ahead and lay this down. All right, now let's bring in all of our little pieces here. Oh, here it is. I'm like, where is that? This helps me kind of pick up all my little things there. All right, so let, the first thing I did is I started with my flowers. So I'm just going to put this over here. Oh, I didn't stamp these in the middle. Look at that. Here we go. These are the ones I tried to do ahead of time. Oh, I forgot my green. There's that one. There we go. Oh, did something go wrong, Susan? I hope not. I still see everything fine. Oh, good. Whew. Don't scare me like that. I'm telling you, these issues I've had with computers. I buy a new one and I still have issues, but apparently it's just Windows, they said. So hopefully my reinstallation yesterday fixed it. I was up at like 2 o'clock in the morning last night because it did it. And I was like, all right, this is not good. Okay, so again, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I have some cut up right here, but I'm going to cut up another row because there's a lot of little leaves and flowers. So we'll get those done. And so let's just take our little halves and we're just going to kind of, oops, there's two halves and put them on. You don't have to put them all the way to the edge. You don't have to put them all over. I don't put them on the stem. Um, so there's that one. Now 
Now my kitty cat goes to the door. She'll run out as soon as you let her. And then she stops. And then she's like, nope. And she turns back around and comes back. She's, she's decided that that is not for her. She goes out and smells a bush. It's got flowers on it. And then she'll run right back in. Those kitty cats can be curious for sure. All right, so let's put these on. I just put on three. All right, I don't think I put, I'm just double checking here. No, I did not put one here um, in the middle. All right. But what I did do is lay this down and you kind of want to figure out your flowers. So one of them, I wanted to go kind of sideways a little bit. So we're going to do this one like this. And I put a little bit of a, a little bit right here of glue. And I just put that one kind of at an angle like that, just a little bit. Let that dry for a bit. Then the next one, I kind of did the same. I did this on the lighter one. And I put just a tiny bit. And you could use glue dots too. It's a little faster. I probably should have done that, but that's okay. And I do that one too at a little bit of an angle. And then the last one, I do a little bit of a... Because when you put your plant down, your leaves, they're all kind of going this way. But I did it, I kind of turned it a little bit this way. So now that's the way I want it. So I'm gonna do it this way. Number one, they don't all grow perfectly straight. Number two, I wanted to kind of fill in the space over here a little bit. So um, that's what I did. Now I'm going to take dimensionals and put them right on top right there. So it's on top of the two pieces, sticking them together. But the glue is under two just to keep it. And I'm going to put one towards the top. Oh, no problem, Susan. I'm glad it's back. Hi, Laura. All right, so those are done. And now we have our flowers. And I just took two large ones, but put them towards the top a little bit. That way you can kind of adjust your flower to go exactly where you want it to go on your stem. Okay, so put those kind of high. And... We're going to do our name, our sentiment here. Again, I pick out the larger spots and I put the larger ones. So I'm going to put one here, one here. You want to make sure, oops, that one might have went over. Yeah, I don't want that one. We're going to cut this one in half. We're going to put this one right here and we're going to put this one over here. Okay, so I put my large ones on, and now I'm going to bring in my minis again. And I just kind of put them, I'm going to take a half of a mini, put it up here. Put that one there, and another half up here. So, there and right here. Okay, so that one I feels good. And now we've got this one, and I'm just going to bring in minis and I'm on flat. So I'm going to put the dimensional where it's flat on the top and the bottom. That way it doesn't poke out. You don't have any issues. I love that a lot of these new dies have labels again because you guys know I'm going to miss my stitch so sweetly. And so now there's a lot of new fun dies though. So I'm good. I think it's going to be just fine. All right, everything is here. We are gonna still take a look at this one while we have it, now that we have a lighter background. 
But let's start with our largest flower. You can put those over. All right, so we're gonna start with the largest. And what I did this time is I did do my glue pretty close to the side. I'm just gonna do this a little bit. There's still a little bit of room, I wanna make sure, because I want my stems to go underneath. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda of put our flowers where we want them. Okay, this one I think we came down quite a bit more. All right, so this one I aligned the stem pretty much straight, but tucked it under, and then our flowers will go there. And then we're gonna do this one, is it, it tucks under also under the frame. There we go. And I wanted it kind of outside of the frame. Okay, so you're going to see these leaves overlap like that. We're going to do this one right here, but we do not need all of this. So we're going to cut that so that we can, we still want the leaves, but we can kind of manipulate where we want that one to go and then this one really you don't need that either so we're going to cut that all right so let's go ahead and we're going to add these first okay so i want to know exactly where this one's going to go and that one's going to go so we're going to put I want that one there. Okay, so we're gonna put this one down. And it's however you wanna layer them that works for you. I like to kind of get an idea of where I'm putting things. Okay, I'm gonna put this under here and I want this to go out there. Oh, Lisa, the new colors are so pretty. I can't, I, I want to go back to the hues of happiness because I just love that sweet, but I want to use other stuff too. So, um, but I can't get over that set. It's so pretty. All right, here we go. And then this one we're going to tuck. So we're going to lift these up a little bit. I didn't put them down really hard. We just lay them there. All right, so this one, we're going to go under here and outward. Okay, so there's your three right there. Now we're going to come back with this one. And this one's pretty much straight. So let's take these. And you're pretty much going to just slide your stem under as soon as I can get it. Because you don't want your stem, the bottom of your stem showing because then it's not, um, it is not anchored somewhere. It's just kind of out in the open there. All right, so we're just going to go right about here. And I, it, the, having your leaves all piled up right there looks more natural to me. So I want the larger one at the top. Okay, so we're going to do it right about here. Okay. And this little one goes this way. That one goes there. And I don't want to forget my Wink of Stella, so we'll pull that out. Okay, so now let's take a look at this, now that we have the lighter background. And you guys can tell me what you think. So this we can put in right here. We can bring this up, I think, like right here. Okay, I'm going to pull this one. And I'm going to turn it a little bit to go up a little farther. There we go. All right, so we can put it under or on top, whatever, whatever you want. 
So sending. So that's one choice. Or this one. So what do you guys think? This one, or do you want to put the colored one on there? Let me know. Let me know which one you would like, the white or the paper one, the stamped or paper. You like the second one. So you like the white one, the one that's stamped. Okay, good. You guys are right on track with me. That's what I want. All right, so I'll save this for something else for sure. All right, so we're going to put this on here. I think we'll put it right about there. And do we want, let's see. See, I don't like, I would normally like the G over it or, you know, kind of intertwine it. Maybe I can do it like that because we all know that's a G, right? Okay, so let's do that. I just don't want the G over the words, but we know it's a G, so that's good. We can do that. Oh, good. You guys are right with me. I thought the white looked better too. I think though it's such a nice picture to pop off, pop up like this. It's a fun, bright, cheerful card. Okay, and then we can put this like right across. Mm, I don't know. We could put it across, but I think it's fine right here too. So let's put that on. All right, so we'll just put it right over the bottom of the G, just a little bit, kind of tie it together. All right, so there's that. Let's do our week of Stella. I like to just make sure I have it running and it's not going to get all crazy on me. Okay, and then this one right here. We could go right across the word, so let's try it. Seems like my pen might cooperate, I hope. And I'm just going to lightly. Go over it, just add that other bit of sparkle. I'll make sure it's not gonna get crazy. You know how sometimes it thinks, oh, you want ink? Okay. And it dumps it out on you. Okay, so now we're getting careful. There we go. There. So it's got a little sparkle on the sending in the middle of that. Oops. Oh well. Okay. Now let's do our gems. Which where are they? I think I used the purple ones last time, but I think I'm going to use the blue this time because this is a lot lighter. I used the purple here, but I think I'm going to use, I think I'll do all small. So let's just do one right here. And then I don't want it on the blue over here and one right here so i like them that they're in a triangle and i like that the blue kind of pops on that now that it's a lighter background and then this one has the wink of stella on the words this one's just on the flowers 
And I have to say, I don't know that you guys can see the green on here as well as I can in person, but it's really pretty because it brings out just enough of the leaves that I can see it, but it's not as bold as this one. And I kind of like this one better. I, it, I'm looking at the screen and to me, this one looks kind of washed out a little bit, but this one's nice and bold. They're both very pretty, um, but I kind of like this one. I think because it's just soft and it's nice, so it's hard to see. Thanks, you guys. It would make a good get well card. Let's see what we have on here. I like the comfort and strength. So spring, sunshine, your day, all the good luck your way, smiles uh, smiles across the miles, always a cute sentiment. Uh, love and big hugs, birthday wishes, a note of thanks, a card to say hello. So I love just a card to say hello, smiles across the miles, um, really cute sentiments, comfort and strength for sure. Uh, it could be like even a sympathy card. So there you go for two different, two different ones. I'm glad, so glad my computer decided to not take a dump. So that's good. Um, so far I haven't had any issues. It just seemed like it happened quite a bit after that one video. And I think, um, I guess windows just had a glitch and there was some weird file because when I did everything the second time I had way more, things on this new computer. It was asking me stuff that it didn't do it the first time. So I think the reinstall hopefully helped everything. Anyway, it seems to be doing just fine and we'll know when we do my next video. It seems like everything's working. But if you guys are interested in bingo, I'd love to have you. It's the 19th at five o'clock. I give out four $100 shopping sprees. I have some really fun projects and I'm going to show you one of them. I gave this sneak peek before and um, it's just really, really a cute set. So one of the projects will be this cute box and um, to create and then your next project will be your cards to go in it. And then I have two other projects also. Um, that you're going to do. So these are detailed. That's why I decided to switch it up a little bit and um, create these cards. And um, this should have been a class, but this bingo is going to be kind of extra special. So um, hopefully you'll join bingo and we can make this cute, adorable set. It's a great box to have um, a template and everything for us so that you can create that for other projects. And um, I was happy the ladybugs are staying. So if you don't have the ladybugs and would like to shop with me, I'd really appreciate it. And it looks like I did not put my flyer on here yet with my um, host code, but it's, or up above. So it's down below in the description. So I would really appreciate if you um, don't have a demonstrator, if you choose me to shop with. Now I do get a lot of questions about um, bingo and paper share and that kind of thing. I have demonstrators that join me. I have customers that join me. You do not have to be my customer to participate. Um, it's just a paper share that I'm doing. Maybe your demonstrator doesn't do one. Um, same with bingo. Bingo is always fun to uh, win some prizes and some money. You would shop with me with your winnings and then you stay with your demonstrator. So, um, just because you're playing bingo with me does not mean you have to switch to me. So I just want to make sure that people know that. A lot of people are like, oh, I would love to play, but I, I already have a demonstrator. That's fine. Um, it's just a, a night of fun and some games. And um, I have demonstrators that join. It's just a fun night. So hopefully you will join. At the beginning of the video, I um, shared how to join up for bingo and how to register and pay and all of that good stuff. So I hope that helps. And um, again, my paper share is $60. You'll get all the DSP that's coming out. And with the specialty paper, you will get a quarter of the package. Each package will be divided up by four. And so really you're splitting the cost of all the paper. You'll be getting 169 pieces of paper um, for only $60. 
That way you can touch and feel and see what you like and what you don't. I definitely want you to look at the reverse side. Um, they even made it more subtle, like polka dots and stripes and you know different things like that that um, can go with any stamp set. So you may look at a, a um, DSP, like maybe he's the man that's not for you, but the reverse side of the paper, excuse me, is completely um, different. So check out my unpacking sneak peek kind of video and you can see all the papers that I share and then um, get an idea of what the papers are. Uh, oh, Mary, you won't be home for bingo. Bummer. Um, oh, you're welcome, Felicia. Remember, thanks, Ioka. Remember that even if you're not uh, here to play bingo and win the prizes, the cost is only $35 and you will get all the kits to create. So even if I did an online class and it was $35, you would get the kits and send them to you. You have a video to create with. And so that's something to think about too, because I do have several people that are not available for bingo, but they still participate and they still purchase the kits and all that good stuff. So just a thought. All right, everybody, have a fantastic rest of your day. I need to go paint my cabinet so I can get things back in here. And um, I don't know that they'll all be done because it is windy, but it looks like it's died down a little bit. So fingers crossed. And then I'm prepping with one of my downlines today for bingo. So um, please make sure you sign up. You still have plenty of time. I'm just gonna pre-prep a few things and get myself a little organized. All right, everybody, have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you on Thursday. Oh, yes, Thursday, because uh, Wednesdays are changed due to T-ball. All right, see you Thursday. Bye, everybody.